In order to fully understand some of the topics we'll discuss in this project, specifically referees calling mallet faults, such as crushes and double taps, we need to know how long, that is the distance, a ball stays on the striking face of a mallet in a normal single ball shot. This image shows a ball close to a near upright of a wicket. As a referee, you will look at this distance to see if there is a possibility of a crush. The four shots you are about to see will help you in this determination. Rather than have us talk in fractions of an inch or millimeters, I suggest you have two nickels and a dime to stack in various configurations. We use these coin combinations in each of the four shots to describe the contact distance between the striking face and ball. We will be going into detail on what a crush, double tap, and a beveled edge fault is. In this segment, you're going to see four single ball shots using a normal swing style. The purpose of this is to show you an approximate distance the mallet face stays in contact with the ball when certain power was used. The first shot is very gentle, followed by increasing strength in each successive shot. The reason this is important for referees is when judging tricky angle wicket shots. You want to note how far the ball is from each upright and compare that distance with your knowledge gained from watching these four shots. You'll see each shot has repeated examples in both real time and slow motion. Also included here are captions showing the estimated contact distance. Special thanks goes to the Croquet Association in England for giving us permission to use this footage. There won't be any voice description during these shots. As you can see, the more powerful the shot, the longer the mallet face stays in contact with the ball. As said in the intro to this segment, comparing the distance of the ball from each upright, along with your knowledge gained from watching this, will better enable you to make a correct call. Also of vital importance is your observation of the aim of the mallet such as, did the striker aim the ball away from the near upright? By no means is this easy, especially if you don't have the aid of slow motion playback. There will be many examples you'll see soon in this video to better help you become a good referee. 